Charlie boy. Yeah, Mr. Drippy. We've been standing here for over 24 hours. It's weird, isn't it? Seems so weird just staying in the same place for God knows how long. I miss my mom, Mr. Drippy. Not because she's dead, but because I've been at the same spot for so long. Hey, that's a tiny thing. Anyway, hello everyone. RPG Kino you know, here back with some more. Kino Kune. In the previous video, we made our way to Alma Moon and we died a lot to fucking skeletons. Fucking die. But now we're gotta go back to Motorville to uh, find out who Rashad's daughter is. In our world, because she locked her heart away. So, how does that search, eh? You know how this works, ain't only boy. It's all about spawning the similarities. So, around here. So, about here, so who's similar to young Esther in some way. Now, what girls do you know? Okay, first of all, how did you know her name was Esther? Rashad didn't say her name, dummy. G girls? I don't really talk to girls. I mainly talk to Phil. Crocky was well, no good, is it? How are we going to do this then? Uh, I'm sure there's somebody she reminds me of. This is how you remind me of what I really am. This is how you remind me of what I really am. It's not like you say sorry. I was waiting on a different story. And this time I'm mistaken. Alright. Can't quite put your finger on, is it? Never mind. If brain work won't work, leg work will. Let's go for a stroll around town and see if we can spot as a soulmate that way, shall we? Okay, Mr. Trippy, let's go find that girl. Because sha la 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 my oh my look like wait, no, that's the wrong kind of song to be saying in this situation. Yeah, it's a little bit uh not right. Okay. Well we gotta find a girl. There's really only one girl that we kinda like really mentioned or talked about in this game so far or in my world anyway I mean and plus there's a star symbol taking us that way so might as well just follow it hey I just thought what's up mon you having a nice time thinking about girls is it uh, no I just when I used to come here to Phil's garage, there was a girl. She was always looking at us from her window. From her window, eh? Sounds like a proper shrinking violet. I guess so. That's the window up there. Oh, that's her, Mr. Drippy. Flippin' that golly boy! Why did you think of her straight away? She's a spirit image of her mom. Not really. Her hair's a little more straight. Huh? Of who? What a flippin' thing, you blockhead! The great sage's daughter, ain't it? The one who's obviously her flippin' soulmate. You know, Esther, even though I don't know her name yet, motherfuckers! It's that obvious. I, I never noticed. You sure have good eyes, Mr. Drippy. She was only in the window for a second. Never run away the razor sharp eyes of a fairy, my boy. Spot a speck of dust on the head of a pin I could. That's very impressive, Mr. Trippy. What is that, like 500-500 vision? I don't understand how the vision thing works. No, wait, that's actually bad. I think the lower the number, the better. Is that like 0. 0.500, 0. 0.500 vision? I don't know. Anyway, it's her, no mistake. Let's go and barge our way into her bedroom. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's just go barging into a house. That's the smartest thing to do. Just gonna go breaking the law, breaking the law. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi. Hmm? It's no good, there's no answer. Something the matter, dear. There's no way home, you know. Uh, I need to speak to the girl who lives here. You're a friend of Myrtle's? Oh, you poor dear. You must be awfully worried about her. Uh, yeah. So worried. I don't even know why, though. Huh? Oh my, you haven't heard? Well, just between you and I, things have... 
<laughs> I've been going so well for Myrtle's family lately. How come? Father works every hour of every single day. Nothing but work, work, work. He's never at home anymore. Such a shame. Rusty has always such a devoted father. But something has happened to him. He's changed. I hear him shouting at them through the walls. I don't know how poor Betty copes. Let alone young Myrtle. Such a shame. Such a shame. It's a shame. The horror. The horror. Betty is. That's right, dear. She's Rusty's wife, and she's very every bit of a devoted him as she always was. I only smiled at her to promise him to bring his lunch to him down at the garage. All oh, the love she pours into those sandwiches. It's enough to break her heart. Why, I'm well enough just thinking about it. Those sandwiches! They never stood a chance! Such a kind soul. Poor, poor Betty! I have half a mind to tell that rusty cart where, right? Just how lucky he is. Jeepers. Oh, just listen to me gossiping on and on. Do ignore me, dear. I'm just a silly old woman. Ha 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 ha. You'll never see me again, by the way. Bye bye Say hello to murder for me, won't you? Crikey! Sounds like... Things are none too rosy in the Cartwright household, eh? Mr. Drippy, we can't leave her like that. We have to help her. We have to help Myrtle and her beach. This is just said and done, holy boy. She's not coming out for a chat, and we're not getting in unless we go m magic in the door open. All right, we should do magic to open the door. I'm the only one who knows how. I'm the only one who can go in there and speak to her. You sure you want to be doing this, Mon? When Mom died, I... If you haven't taken me over to your world when I thought I was all alone, if you hadn't helped me, I'd still be all alone right now. That's why we have to help Myrtle. If we don't, she'll be left st staring out her window forever, all alone. That's justification enough for a bit of breaking and entering my book. <laughs> Let's get in there. Yes! <laughs> Break it! <laughs> okay, I gotta say this in my normal voice. My, my, my throat is like hurting a bit. Hmm. Um. But yes, freaking helping out a poor unfortunate soul in pain and need. That's kind of, I mean, she's kind of locked in her house. Don't know if against her will or anything like that, but, um, well, I don't think it against her will. I think she's just doing it because she, like, freaking hates the fact that her pants are fine or whatever. But, um, or maybe she has, like, an illness. I honestly can't remember. But, uh, yes. She's all alone, and I need to talk to her, so I'm going to break into her house. Okay, Mr. Trippy. I see that, that the grandmother's voice didn't help either. Oh, the pain! Oh, the pain! All right, let's do this. Huh? It won't open. Yeah, that's probably weird. A room should have locked like that. Should have popped undone. Easy peasy. Huh? Huh? What's wrong, Mr. Trippy? It's a storm on. There's an evil power protected. The spell didn't fail. It was repelled by a malevolent force. What repelled? Jeepers. Must be the girl in it. She's the soulmate of a sage's daughter after all. You think? So what do we do? I'll tell you what we don't do. Carol tried to get in by the front door. Not exactly polite just barging into people's houses anyway. You said it was justified, Mr. Drippy. I trusted you. You're right. I guess we'll have to find some other way. Well, I guess we'll just keep going the way to those marks. Oh, hi, P. That was... Oliver! 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 P. Hey, maybe... Uh, what's going on, Oli boy? You feel about the P? Maybe P knows something. Yeah? What the flippin' heck's going on? I don't understand anymore. Kiss these days, man! Hi, Oliver! It's me, P! Oliver, you have to go in there! Oliver, you have to go in there! Okay, but how? But how? Okay, maybe screen lock will work now. Okay. It's open. Oh, the flip! 
Did you do another spell on it or something? No, it wasn't me. It was P. Uh, where'd she? Never mind all that. Let's go in there, shall we? There's a there's a distress up there, man. I guess. Hi. Who are you? My name's Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm a kid from right here in Motorville. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm just a little unwell. I know right now you can't tell. But I live here in this town. But soon enough you're gonna think of me. And how I used to... I'm not crazy. I'm just a little unpaired. I know right now you can't tell. You don't care. Just like you. I know. I've seen you. You have? Yeah, remember? The night? I can't leave this room. Why? If I go outside... It hurts. How? So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. The girl in the tower... That's why they call her Steady Mary! Shh! Don't worry, man. No one can hear me but you. I can talk as loud as I want! Yes. That's why they call me Steady Mary. Huh? Tricky! Can she hear Tricky. me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? Uh, uh I... I bet you think I'm weird, don't you? No, just... No, I, I don't. Misunderstood. It's okay. I don't mind. Is that something I you heard? Oh, no. Before my father comes home. Uh. Oi, come here a sec. This is proper weird. I've looked as hard as I know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies. Lord High Lord. I can tell. So what is wrong with her? Well, whatever sickness she had might be gone, but something still got a hold over the poor dab. Hmm. The poor dab. What is it? Oh, um, uh, nothing. I'm gonna come see you again. Okay, Myrtle? And your peach. Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. And your peach. How does that sound? Just like in the Death Stranding. Even Oliver. though that game technically didn't come out yet when this game was made. You can't. Huh? My father won't allow it. You should leave. But Myrtle... I think we found a problem. It's just like you said, Mr. Drippy. It's almost like Myrtle and Esther are the same person. Hey, doll! They could be twins, mon. I knew they were soulmates the moment I laid eyes on her. But she ain't broken hearted. There's something else stopping her from getting better. It must be her parents. Her family is... Not all gods have been taught to believe, yeah. Sounds like her folks ain't getting on too well. But our family squabble is really the bad thing we want to get mixed up in, Ollie Boy. Maybe not, but we have to help Myrtle. Family's important. It's everything. Oh, since you put it like that, go on then, let's help the poor dab out. Next up, Rusty Shop. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's not the jump button. That's the jump button. Ah, ha, ha. Jump with me, Mr. Drippy. Jump with me. You know you make me want to jump. Oh, damn it. Very. This mu here must be Rusty's garage. You got a bad feeling man landing about this. You best make sure you're good and ready before you go in. Okay, Mr. Drippy. Um. I mean, I guess I'm as good as I'm gonna be. Oh, hi. That don't look good. This must be a rusty garage, jolly boy. And that must be him over by there. I guess so, huh? Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you Myrtle's father? I came to ask about her. Yeah, you see him busy. Be the kid. Hey, what's that swirl? What's that swirl around him? No, it can't be. Oh, hi, person who kind of looks like my mom. Honey, I brought you your lunch. Not this again. Not hungry. Honey, if you don't eat, you'll get sick. 
that I'm not hungry. Okay, honey. Just look after yourself, please. Jackass. So that was Merle's mom, huh? You two, get out of here before I throw you out. But, but sir, we... Crooked, look at those eyes. Broken as heck his heart is. He's heartbroken, but he's not from your world, Mr. Trippy. Let's worry about that later. Now we, we know what the problem is. We need to mend Rusty's broken heart, ain't it? Yes, we do. But don't worry, sir. We're going to help you. Hey. You're kidding me. A flipping nightmare. Now we're in for it. A nightmare? You mean like a bad dream? No, man. Much worse. A nightmare is even a spear that launches to the broken hearted. See that black misty stuff? That's how you know. Nickers. The mist is getting darker. I can only beat one thing, and it ain't good news. Oh boy. That's no good. Oh, look at that. Rusty's nightmare, void of kindness. Holy fuck! Um, okay then. Keep losing all my goddamn money. Skip. Oh, shit. Strong against those that kind of theory. Let's just let's just go ourselves for now. Alright, that did nothing. Did a little bit, but not much. Hard, hard.
that did absolutely jack shit because he fucking attacked me. Fuck! Fuck! Damn it! Burning hot! Fuck you! Man, remember when I fought the, uh... The rat boss, and I thought, ah, oh, I'm... Or before I fought the rat boss, I was thinking, man, I'm probably... Over-leveled! Now I'm doing all this shit, I'm like, oh my god, I'm not high enough leveled! Fuck me, dudes! We killed him! Honey! Sorry, man, we killed him. Betty, stay away from me. His heart's still broken. Of course it is! We only got rid of the nightmare, Mon. Man, it's also a whole nother problem. But Mr. Trippy, those nightmares. Just what are they? Oh, they are sort of like beasties, only they're from. Oh, oh, they're sort of like beasties, only they're born from broken hearts. And they latch onto them and sort of possess them, see? And Sadar is behind the nightmares too? Look at him, holy boy! Him and Rashad are like peas from the same pot, ain't it? What Shadar's done is he's got the better of Rashad over in our world by attacking, attack, attacking his soulmate over by ear in your world. It's just awful. He's attacking people in my world now? Looks like it, eh? Yeah, we don't met his heart, he might get taken over by another nightmare. We need to sort this out, holy boy. So he looks like before, ain't it? It's pretty obvious. That what he's missing is a man-sized helping of kindness. Kindness? Gee. That's right. Hey, don't overflow with that milk of human kindness. Bring it to mine, holy boy. A really kind person, huh? Honey. Oh, honey. Are you okay? Talk to me, please. Oh, well, my guess was going to be the daughter, but okay. Well, well, well. Sometimes the thing you're looking for walks itself down right into your doorsteps. That's lucky. I guess so. All right, well, we're just going to leave him alone. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Oh, well, you're... You're Ali's son. Um, yes, that's right. I, I have something to ask you. Mrs. Carwright, can I borrow a little of your kindness? Huh? I'm sorry, dear. I don't think I quite... I need to make Mr. Carwright better. Please, I need it so that I can help him. I really don't have the first idea of what you're talking about. But if it stands even the smallest chance of helping my husband return from the dead, then sure, I'll do it. Thank you so much, Mrs. Carwright. Take the horse. The warm, fuzzy gift of generosity! 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 Well, what did you do? I feel almost warm inside. Daddy, that's what he's working, ain't it? I'll give it to Rusty, that's a good lad. Okay. Hi, sir. I know you're dead and all. Hey, just, just leave me alone, will you? What? I said. I missed that. I said, no, I said, sir, not Siri. Fuck you. I also said hello. Come on, Mon, hurry up! Head over the kindness before we have another flippin' nightmare on our hands! I just got here, Drippy! Calm the fuck down! Jesus! 
You know, you need some enthusiasm! Here you go. Straight from the bottle into the butt. Uh, what are you doing? Ugh. Honey. Oh, honey. Buddy, what am I doing here? Did you do something with your hair? Oh, Rusty. You're looking very handsome yourself, honey. Let's have another kid right here. Oh, God! Blimey hell, man! Daddy, it worked! And mental bless there! Yeah. It was lovely! Excuse me, uh... Oi, what do you think you're doing? This is no time to be interrupting! But they're gonna fuck right in front of me, you Let's leave them in and go tell Mother everything's back to normal with their folks, shall we? I guess you're right. Let's go. Then they can fuck like monkeys once they close this door. That's not the hop button. This is the hop button. This is the hop button. I'm the hop button. <sighs> Hi. Sup? Oliver, what is it? Well, uh... If my father sees you, he'll... Myrtle, come with me. Huh? You can go outside now. You're not sick anymore. I... I can't, Oliver. Just thinking about going out there gives me goosebumps. Myrtle. Oh! Oh, shit! It's the cops! Go on out and play, Myrtle. But... Father... I'm ignoring sorry. this child. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened to me. I wasn't there when you were sick, when you needed me, and I was fighting with your mother the whole time. I guess... Maybe the thing that was keeping you closed up in here... Maybe it was me. Father... You were scared somewhere deep down that if you went away, even for a little while, your mother and I would lose the one thing keeping us together. Mr. Trippy, what the fuck are you doing? We wouldn't be a family anymore. You're kind of making this tender right, moment a little... That's why you... Not tender. Why you were. Something deep inside you wouldn't let you leave the house. <laughs> Father, I... It's all right, sweetheart. Your mother and I... It's gonna be okay. So you're gonna be a big sister. Father! Monkeys in the garage. Please, Myrtle. Please forgive me. Oh, I do. Daddy, I do. Did they just see that hat floating? Are those tears bumped in? Or what? Huh? No, they're not. So much for you being honest. Uh, Oliver? Hmm? I'm going to try. I'm going to go outside. Hells yeah! Will you come with me? Murder. I mean, I get it. I get why, like, this is a thing. But, like, they're making it into such a bigger deal that I feel like it needs to be. But I kind of get it. <sighs> I get why they're doing it. But it's a little Murder. funny if you think about it. I mean... I'm outside! I'm outside! <laughs> Yay! You're outside! Now we're spinning! Oh, that's beautiful. <sighs> Oliver! Thank you so much! Cool. I'm so happy for you, Myrtle. I couldn't have done it without you, Oliver. I'm going to go outside every day from now on. On. I'll go to school again. I meet new people and buy new clothes. It's so strange. I was so scared to come outside. Now I feel brave. I feel like I could do anything. Visit her mom. All of a sudden, she's got even more courage than you could shake a stick at. I can feel from all the way over by here. She does, huh, Mr. Trippy? There's someone in Alma Moon who could really use some of that courage. Nice thinking, Ollie boy. I tried Merle's new farm bravery. It's just what we need to kickstart young Esther's recovery. Again, how'd you learn her name? 
Something the matter? It's something the matter, Oliver. Myrtle, I uh, I know a girl who's just like you. She's going through the same something terrible. Huh? You're so brave. I want to know if you let me give some of your courage to this girl to help her and to help her family. Of course. But how do we do that? We use magic, and I know just the spell. Magic. You're an interesting boy, Oliver. But sure, go ahead. Do whatever the fuck you want, I suppose. All right, close your eyes. Like this? God, I hate the fact that I have to come up with a female voice now. Actually, no, I don't. I love it because it gives me a challenge. It's like, fucking need to... The stout and sturdy force of fearlessness. It's the courage. It feels warm. My heart, it feels warm. That means the magic worked. Thank you so much, Myrtle. Now my friend can finally start to feel better. I'm glad. Myrtle, holy boy! We've got some courage to deliver, ain't it? Let's get going! Sure. Myrtle, I have to go now. Wish your friend luck for me, won't you, Oliver? I hope she gets better soon. Thanks, Myrtle. I will. See you soon, Oliver. I'm just gonna go right here in front of all of you guys. I'm just gonna disappear. Where the fuck did he go? What the fuck? The fuck? What the fuck? The dog. Dog's even like. <laughs> ah. Alrighty. Okay. Sorry, but I just real. I was like, what the heck? Grand, she's kind of wearing the same thing that. Oh no, Esther's actually has like a shirt type thing. I don't know. Yeah, it has a little more. I'm supposed to tell you, I'm not. Sir Shad, sir, we brought it. We brought the piece of heart that your daughter's missing. You brought what? Why are you down for something? You said we can fix your daughter. Truly? Sure, Mr. Shad, just leave it to me. But. I don't know why, but. The strongest feeling you are telling the truth. Of course he is! Look at that face, Mom! Oh, it wouldn't melt! Very well, I beg you. Bring her back to me. Feel her heart. Yes, sir. Stop. Here she, here she, here she is. All the, the, huh? Tiny, it's just like I thought. Open her heart back up again. You can mend it for her now. Don't worry. This will only take a moment. I'm going to give you Myrtle's courage, okay? Yeah, but it's wide open. Just find that courage and bump your uncle. God damn it. I hate the fact that you can't freaking use the analog sticks for that. It's so dumb. They were there for a reason, man! What is this? Dead. Where am I? What happened? It was Shadar. He stole a piece of your heart. My heart? My heart? Is it you, Esther? Is it really you? Oh, my dear daughter. Father. Oh, forgive me, my child. <laughs> <laughs> you were robbed of your courage. But I... I have only myself to blame for the loss of my own. Oliver, it is you who taught me this. You have my thanks. You're welcome, Mr. Ashad. I will join you in the fight against Shudar. Hell there! The day will soon come when the clarion rings out across the land once more. The clarion? Oh, it's an old story from way back, that is. Back when the world was at peace, like. The three kings of our world combined their skills and knowledge to create a flute that symbolized the great peace. The sound of this flute came to represent the unity of the nations of the world. How long is it now since the call of the clarion was heard? Not since the three kings got into a right old potch and fell out, I heard. Here, Dad, you threw your stick. It's up to us. The clarion will ring out again and we will be the ones to play it. <laughs> Very well, daughter. Let us do our best. Let us help Oliver in his fight. Thank you so much, Mr. Ashad, sir. 
Let me come with you, Oliver. I want to help you fight Shadar. I have a familiar to help me, just like you. Here, boy. Wow, you can fight with familiars too, Esther? Indeed she can. Esther's town lies in the train and of handling of familiars. Sure, she's more of a familiar keeper than a wizard it is. Fair enough. Here's what folks have around they are. This is my drongo. His name is Go-Go. Go -Go. Say hello, Go-Go. Go-Go go, go, Gadget Rangers. Wait, what? Go-Go Gadget. Go-Go Rangers. Go-Go Power Rangers. Tidy, now that's so, uh, let's get down to business. Remember what young Alva came here for? Eh, Shada? Rashad, not Shada. Mr. Trippy. You do. You wish to learn the arts of the stages, do you not? Yes, sir. So you will need these spells. Puppet strings. Make stones and statues move like marionettes. Hey, I know something that can help with that. Secret ingredients. Concentrate a range of delicious delicacies. Magic lamp. Brighten up. Brings light to even the darkest nook. Pulse. Unleash a wave of pure energy into your enemies. Thank you, Mr. Richard, sir. I'm satisfied that you do not lack the determination required. You came here from another world to face Shadar, after all. You knew about me being from another world, I mean? <laughs> it's your actions that revealed your origins to me. Revealed Esther when I could not. Which told me that you must have helped her soulmate in the other world. The only one who could who called the world home could have done such a thing. That world. Wow, oh, so all of us from what from all the other worlds who told me about father. And he was the one who saved me. Yes, it's strange. It feels like I've met you in a dream of something. Oliver, seems there are terrible things that only one such as you can do. You may be able to help our world. You shall have my aid. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. I will beat Shadar. Perhaps. You will need much training first. Without complete command of the magical odds, you cannot hope to defeat him. Four great sages could not overcome the dark jinn. A mere boy to do so will require more than enthusiasm alone. Well, it's a good thing I have enthusiasm in my rocket. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's going to need a trauma sh shed load of experience under his belt in a heck of a short time, ain't he? We need to find a creature that gets like a million uh, experience points or something. Unfortunately, you don't get that until you can fly, boy. Indeed he is. The kind of experience offered by the trials of the sages. Oliver, you must undertake them. Trials? Where do I take these trials? In the north of the desert, at the Temple of Trials. Well, that's convenient. Temple of Trials? You mean... I do. The home of the Supreme Sage. Not so familiar. You too have much to learn, Esther. The only those with the Supreme Sage's blessings are permitted to open the doors of the temple. I will accompany you. Thank you, Father. It will be great. It will be great at the trials, Oliver. I know you will. Thanks, Esther, and thank you, Mr. Rashad, sir. Rashad is now traveling with you. Neato! Also do spears as well, Mr. Pokey. Good deal. Oh, hey, it's the ghost boy. Might as well just uh, do spirit medium first. That's that. Takes MP. Nice to see you again. Did you have fun crossing the desert? Fun. It was flipping bo boiling, man. Only for you, maybe, Pipsqueak. I'm a ghost and ghosts don't feel the heat, so there. What are you doing here, Horace? I'm looking at these fountains. They're amazing. I sport out milk. I would milk a boy can drink. They're what Alma Moon is famous for. The spicy smell comes from that fruit stall. Mixing with the smell of this milk, it's strange. How oh, you think so? I kind of like it. But there's still lots of spells you don't know yet, aren't there, Oliver? I'm trying. It's just that my wizard's companions kind of, um, most of the pages are missing. 
missing. Oh, yeah. I had to give you the picture to be a medium, didn't I? Uh-huh. Mr. Trippy first gave it to me. The only spell inside was Gateway. Really? The pages had been torn out. But it was that idiot Shadar's doing. All right. I suppose I better help you fill it back again, haven't I? Dirty, there's, there's a generous Shadaros. Me, me, I was all about being a stingy little midget after all. I'm not just going to hand a load of pages over. That's what you're thinking. I'll have to prove his wizard and compa comprehension skills first. Those are companions are full of spells. There are other stories in there that are greater by the sages all over the centuries. But those have probably been torn out too. Stories are pretty powerful after all. They might inspire people to stand up to him. Right, I'm going to give you one to get you started. Have a read, it's one of my favorites. The Cowardly Prince and the Lion. Ooh, wonderful. Okay, well let's give that thing a read, shall we? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Twelve tales of tales of wonder. All right, the first tale: the Cowardly Prince and the Lion. In a certain country, where lived the prince named Tamolo, who was sharp of mind but weak of spirit, his father was a brave king, strong, wise, and loved by his subject. An old example he said served only to weaken Tamolo's spirit. On one occasion, his father told him thus. Soon, my boy, it shall be time for me to retire, upon which thou shalt become king. While the announced the delight of the prince, it filled him also with terrible dread, for he did not have the spirit required to ascend the throne. In his vexation, he wandered from castle, lost in thought, wherein he encountered a fearsome-looking lion. The prince tried to free, but the lion caught his easily by his paw, lifted him by his gaping mouth, and swallowed him whole. First, the prince thought he was doomed, but at length he began to reconsider his position. Alas, I no longer have to become king, thought the prince. Taking a deep breath, he said to the lion, My lion, I am the prince of this country, and the day after tomorrow I was due to become king. Since thou hast now swallowed me, however, thou needst become king instead. King now, replied the lion, I shall not complain about that. Thereupon the prince led the lion back to the palace. The carriers were shocked to see the lion enter the palace, but the prince pleaded with them from inside his stomach, and the lion was accepted as king. The lion proved to have quite an aptitude for royal duties. Wherever there was a duty in his kingdom, the king would simply growl at the quarrels. Stop playing or I shall eat you alive. Whenever a bridge was swept away by a flood, I would simply use his paw to rip down a tree and lay it across the river. Regarding taxation and legal matters, the lion was utterly ignorant, but whenever such a problem arises, Prince Tom would speak to him from inside the mouth and provide him with a sound solution. Two dragons. After some time, news reached the king that two dragons were ravaging the eastern when the of the kingdom, the people were terrified and the looked to their king to deliver them from this terrible evil. Upon which the king announced that he should go and smite the dragon himself. But even the fearsome lions stood no chance of being two such terrible dragons. My dear stomach dweller, said he, he said he then, what in the wide world should I do now? Prince Tolan considered the lion's question and at length provided him with a suitable scheme. The lion headed east to the part of the kingdom that was being ravaged by a larger dragon and roared at his ugly face. Dragon, I shall soon slay thee. I fear thee not, for no matter how large thou art, thou shalt never devour me. Oh, scalp the dragon. We shall see about that. Upon which he ate the lion whole. It's not the dragon stone the lion said. Dragon, thou art now the king of this land. It is therefore thy rule due to defeat the dragon ravaging the western part of thy kingdom. First dragon paid no heed, but then the dragon witnessed the humans around him bowing down de defiance. As first time I requested them to do beforehand. He decided to do his royal duty, whereupon he went to the west mountain and slew the other dragon. And so the dragon had been slain, the lion commenced, commenced to scratch in the inside of the dragon's stomach. Ow, it hurts, it hurts, cried the dragon, rolling the floor in agony. Have mercy, I beseech thee to. Then the lion said, If thou wast not feel this pain, thou must promise never again to hurt the people of the kingdom. Ow, very well, I promise, cried the dragon in reply. But the dragon was a cunning beast, and the prince all knew he would break his promise the moment the lion was out of his stomach. He therefore had the lion take take out the balding berry that he told them to bring with him and place it inside the dragon. The berry was known to make noise that sounded like some iron to some. That babbling berry in the stomach, the dragon shouted, knows that the lion escaped, said Prince Tomlo. Later that night, when the dragon was sleeping, the lion crept out from his gaping mouth and set off back to the palace. The dragon left the, and the king and his subjects alone forevermore. The king has been in peace for ten years when the lion said to Prince Tomlo, Stomach dweller, it's time thou comes hence from in there. I would have to take thee my place at the throne. Prince Tom was shocked and replied in a quivering tone. Fear that I do not have the spirit to come king. 
but thy judgments over the past ten years were inevitably been wise," said the line. "That is, that is, that is as may be. But I am a coward," replied Tin Song. "It was only because I was protected by a great strong line that I could act so decisively." The lion played no heed. With an almighty sneeze, he ejected Prisolin from his stomach. It had been ten years since Prisolin had been seen. Well, as I could not believe his eyes. The lion's mane was now fully white and his face was covered in wrinkles. Shut up inside the lion's stomach, Prisolin had been quite aware of any of this. As thou canst see thy own eyes, said the lion, I have grown old. Ten years thou hast resided in my stomach, and yet not once didst thou scratch me or cause me any pain, as I myself did to that dragon. That Though thou couldst have done at any time, the cadaveries and subjects of the scheme did not accept me because I am strong. They accept me because I have given them my all, by which mean I thou hast given them thine. Thou art the new king of this country. Thou lackst not the spirit, I assure thee. In, that, like, in like manner, everyone in the palace beseeched king, Prince Tomalong to become the king. Prince Tomalong, everyone is humbly grateful for everything thou hast done. The country needeth just such a king as thee. On hearing these words, Prince Tomalong felt his courage swell within him. Kim Tomo gave still more of himself as his country, and despite the fact that the lion has retired, continued to live alongside the king as palace. Palace. Now many countries are ruled by animals these days, and in ancient times all kings were human. Indeed, the magnificent lion about whom you have just read was the first ever animal to acknowledge as king, and the world was never seen the same. And now we have the second tale. The story I gave you. Well, I hope you read it carefully because I got a question for you. Ready? Sure. Good, here goes. There are quite a few characters in this story. Can you remember them all? Tell me, who is the third smallest out of the prince, the lion, and the dragon of the east and the dragon of the west? It was the. I freaking have to spell it. <sighs> Fuck. There's a T. Uh. No space button. No space button. No space button. Yeah, it's not. Wait, the third smallest. Oh shit. Fuck. Fuck, it's the H. It's the lion. Better not be freaking capitalized or anything like that. I get what? Dragon of the West? What? Where's the R? Dragon. Of. Uh.
Correct. Very impressive. Wizard and companionship must be also as good as mine. Oh, I said I'd... Bleh. I said I'd help you fill your wizard companionship back, back up, didn't I? Here. Draw poison. Thanks, Horace. I suppose it was a bit mean giving you a question like that. You worked it out eventually. And that's what being a wizard is all about. I need to look carefully at every detail and understanding what's going on. So, the wise old man talk. Well, you're no flipping old than only boy here. I'm not? No, I don't suppose I am. At least I don't seem to be. What's that supposed to mean? Strange. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Something really, really important. Never mind. Can't believe how much this place has changed. Can I see other towns around the world that are as different as these are? These days. We go ahead somewhere with a branching sea breeze next. Might not be able to feel the wind on my face, but I can still enjoy the view. See you soon. Curses, like the saying, grits, what to do, what to do? Is everything okay? Must be for the most legendary of the Ma Mamuni dishes has come to my possession. But I do not have the ingredients it requires. What kind of dish is it? It's known as the Tikka Mahala. The recipe is a complex and refined curry made of the tenderest and most succulent beef. Greggy, that does sound like a proper tasty god food. My mouth's watering just thinking about it. So let's try it. If you gather the ingredients for me, you will have the honor of being the first to taste the Taki Mahala since ancient times. Okay. This is one I will do off screen. Actually, I'll probably do a lot of these off screen because I'm getting close to ending the video. Thank you, you are a most excellent, helpful young fellow. To create the masterpiece, I'll need some fluffy rice, some tender beef, and a pinch of the Sheikah special spices. Fuck. Sheikah sp special spices? Where do we get those? We do not know for certain. I have heard that there is no as a. that there is one known as the Sheikahs of Spice somewhere in this fair city. Well, that sounds like a good place to start, eh? Let's shake a leg and find ourselves a, sh a Sheikah, shall we? If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Good luck, friends. Alrighty. You have something. Should be time for Bamanda Fazara. What do I find this year? You should look excited, sir. Well, of course I am, young man. Banana Banana approaches that I'll have soon at the smile of pleasure of buying gifts for my dear grandchild. Gee, how many grandchildren do you have? You see now, if you include those living in our towns across the land, must be perhaps 30. Jeepers creepers, that's many. That's an awful lot of presents. That may be so, but each. Well, for each, I am rewarded with the price of smiles of a child. And that happiness is my happiness. May the ancients watch over them. Greg, this man's a living saint. You don't see kind. He's like that every day, certainly. Not alone every day. I'm sorry, would you mind helping us out with something? Could save people in trouble. Good. Sh sure could. Please say you'll help us. Very well, very well, since you asked so nicely. Thank you very much, sir. Take the hot. Oh, we got some more kindness. We got the kindness. Oh, oh, what a marvelous sensation. My heart, my very soul, overflows with warmth. Okay. Who all needs help? Well, we got a few of them there and theirs. Let's just see what they all are. So. Why the beards of the ancients? We 
We punished them so severely last time, and yet they come back once more to sow on rest in the fields. What's the matter, ma'am? It's terrible. Wild creatures of the most mischievous natures run amok in our precious banana fields. As this continues, I'll have no choice but to spend my nights patrolling the very fields I work throughout the day. Cheapers, that doesn't sound good. These creatures dangerous? Dangerous? They would pluck and eat my very livelihood from the trees. I have no choice but to drive them from my land. Boy, sure is brave. Ain't it though? Not everyone in her age goes out fighting monsters on the evening. Look at what she's got to display, Dolly Boy. Courage. It's the bravest thing I've ever met. Do you mind if we borrow a little bit of your bravery to help people need, ma'am? People need you stay. See a child as young as yourself strive to do good in the world and a fine thing indeed. Borrow from me what you will. Thank you very much, ma'am. Take the heart. Take the heart! One, two, three, four, five. There are five more of them that we have not encountered yet. God, my heart feels light yet warm. Strange feeling, but not unpleasant. Is this all you need from me? Very well. All right, well, let's see what this person needs. Looks like he needs, like, something. Oh, I'm so weary. Where's the fire? What's home? You sick, sir? Sick? You're sick, this boy. Much worse. I have grown tired of mixing up spices. Mixing spices is my life. Oh, this must be the chicken spices we ate it. it. Must be, huh? There's something up with the old fella. It would be best if I know what it is, huh? You should, huh? Uh, how come you don't want to mix spices anymore, sir? I don't have the enthusiasm. That's why? There's no why. There's only emptiness. You know all... But you're known for all your spices mixing, Mr. Chica. She, don't you have customers who will rely on you? I do. myself. I do miss it. Nice each morning. Jeepers, we're kind of hoping to... You might uh, miss some spice for us, but it seems like you're in a real bad way. I was only to rest. Please bother someone else. But, save your breath, Dolly Boy. The old cock is broken hot, ain't it? Yes. Yes, driver, every last shot of enthusiasm, unless I'm very much mistaken. Well, we can easily remedy that. We have to help him, Mr. Drippy. I do, Dolly Boy. That we do. Let's find the sheik of the va va boom He needs to spice up his life. Good boy, never girl. Spice up your life. People of the world, fuck up your life! Aww! Na 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 Pretty dancing Timbuktu California, me and you Come Nirvana, dancing queen By the beards of the ancients What is this strange sensation? I feel alive! That I wish to make spices with more un- urgency than ever before in my l long life. Nito, we did it, Mr. Drippy. That's some tidy work, early boy. Do you understand? Is this thanks to you? I'm your debt. I must reward you. Here, please accept this. Some sandwiches and some guilders. I get into... If you have any special related questions, I would be most honored to hear them. I wish only to work my mixing magic. As a matter of fact, we do. Could you mix us some of your special spices? My special spices? We hear talk of such things. Keep your hat on. May it, may it runs that curry stall, ask us, and he needs ingredients for this tiki mahala. Well, if that's all you require, then I will be glad to oblige you. You don't have all the ingredients required. You must bring me those I'm lacking. Sure, what do you need, Mr. Shika? Mixture will require a traumatic root and three generations pinches of spicy seeds. Yes, sir, thank you so much for agreeing to help us. You're the other boy, it's my pleasure. Remember to me when we have the ingredients are required. Alrighty. Uh, well, we might as well just look at Swift Solutions first before we do anything.
uh, bounty. Oh, shit. Might as well take them all. Now I'll take care of these all on my own. You have curries? Okay, so that's one. Trouble in front of the cat's cradle on my moon. Okay. And then, two children who are usually the best of friends have started arguing near the milk fountain on my moon. Oh, shit. How did I not notice that one? Okay, well, that. Yeah, another kindness. Well, if I I can use it now, then maybe I can find kindness from someone else. No, you cannot have it back. Oh no! Oh, it's just this one. So the other kid. I'm not finished with it. What is wrong with you? Yesterday you told me you would return it. Hey, you two, stop fighting. What's the problem here? How is that this thief did not return me the picture book I lent him? It's only a picture book and a prop and a poor one at that. Who cares? I care. It's a birthday gift. You must give it back. Stop bothering me and go away. Craig, you think has has all broken on every ounce of guy is squeezed out of him? Why are you doing playing over as long as me? Well, maybe a bit of both. He's broken heart. It seems so lively. Oh, it depends on which part of the heart's been stolen, eh? It changes your personality in all different ways it does. But anyway, you're going to do about more importantly. Are you going to help the other lad get his Pokemon? Overdue joy. Sure, I hate for them to be not be friends anymore. Well, then we need to find ourselves to drop it all good old-fashioned kindness, ain't it? Get the hot hand over. And then I just have courage. Here you go, you little shit. Oh, I'm there's something in that jar over there. What happened? I had to end to return the book, picture book, but then I... Truly, you meant to return it? Of course, I'll go and fetch it now. Forgive me for my selfishness. Thank you so very much for helping me return to Please, you must accept this. Some strong coffee and some money. Neato. Get that takes care of that. And it won't let me go down, which is bullshit. It's the time for the cats in the cradle and the silver screen. Little boy, boom, the man, the moon. Let's see what we can do with this one here. Oh, has he lost enthusiasm too? Oh, no, he's afraid. I can't bring myself to go. So, wrong, mister? You seem a little unhappy. I'm indeed, boy. You hear me, little tail? Whoa. Ah, uh, sure. Thank you, you're a kind hearted child. You see, I'm the provider of Alma Moon's finest milk ice creams. I've been preparing to set off a journey to research a means of making my wares yet more refreshing and delicious. You have? Where are you headed? Those in the realm of ice far beyond this horizon. These fields are vast in all the ways of ice. I hope to learn from them how to improve my wares yet further. Admirably, it takes a lot of guts to go into the big, wide world. Good luck. You do not understand. I cannot go any longer. 
Do I have invested much time and effort in my preparations? What? Why the flip not? I thought you said you'd make your mind up to go. I have been a silly. Blah, 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 blah. What the fuck is that word? I've been assailed by an instrumental terror. The talk of savage beasts roaming the land filled with dread. I bring myself to depart. What has happened to me? I, who was once so brave and so driven to take the next step in the ice cream fed achievement. It doesn't seem like you ever had a change of heart, huh? This is tricky. Do you think he's fucking hearted? I reckon he might be, Ollie boy. Lock in the garage, if I'm not mistaken. No doubt he's never going to get out of his ice cream game. That's tragic. That's tragic. That's tragic in the eyes. We can't leave him like this. We have to find him some courage. Okay, let's go get it then, shall we? I already got it, Mr. Drippy. Just waiting for you to let me get it! By the beards of the ancients, I'm filled with the most powerful boldness. I fear neither beast nor man. I can't do any hardship in my efforts right further the advancement of ice cream. Dude, it looks like someone's back to his old self. Sure does. You're all better now, miss, huh, mister? Better than be better than better. Must depart my journey at once. With my thanks, this can I express but a fraction of my gratitude. Please, you must accept it. Three carrot cakes and a hundred guilders. Ice cream dreams. Neato. And then let's see here, I got... Oh, I need to get all those spices stuff. Maybe I can ask them where I could find it. Not close to the What's I tell you again? Uh, can be attained from a beast known as the Lumberwood. I smell upon you, boy, for this person foe has but recently appeared near the edges from here. This is what solutions are more. Oh, spices contain from the only hostile soils. Perhaps those of a great volcano. Okay. So this looks like one I cannot do for a while, considering there's no volcano around here. We're just gonna step outside. Just to see if anything happens. Maybe get into a battle. Again, about just to see what happens. This is the first time I've ever been out of Alma Moon in ages, Oliver. Ha, ah, and you sure do look happy about it. That's the person's journey to take the trials. You know, Ramon, they ain't a flippin' day, day trip, you know. Get moving. Alright, alright, lead the way. That's fair now, then let's. You know, man, does that sound. Why, there, just move. It's flippin' Nidmon, it's monster, ain't it? Alright then, all you boys, it's your get. I'm gonna be fine with that stuff for now. I better teach you some new moves, ain't it? Ready, you two? Yes. Ah, oh, fuck. I honestly should have went to sleep first. <laughs> My health is Let's shit! Attack. Hey, you're not to fight together, Mon. Now there are two of you, and you can pick who leads when a battle starts by pressing L1 or R1. Why'd you give it a go, eh? Go pick Asta. That's just in charge and said, see? She's what's called the leader now. And we can buzz everyone around to see the tactics down there. Figure you can tell all your buddies what you want them to do. Easy peasy. If you change these, may bow, just press L1 and the little daddy there. Okay, then enjoy being a grizzly do some. Do what you like, do what you like, attack different targets. Give it y'all, provide backup. Give us healthy, don't use abilities, don't do anything. Okay. I guess it should always be set on do it you all. Close. Attack the target, attack different target, attack different target. Okay.
Fuck! And that didn't help the fact that I wasn't freaking out the goddamn in. Son of a bitch. Oh, I should have saved first. Oh well. Oh, well, not a lot of guilders. Alright. Well, fuck. Do I have full health? Yes, I'm full of everything now. Will they let me do it? Are they gonna, like... Yeah, they're going through this again. Maybe set three. Oh god, this is the <laughs> Here we go. Esther, it's my Your magical builds are indeed impressive. As is your repertoire with your familiar daughter. Yeah, I'll do my best. You know what, Aleva? I'd love to try fighting with your familiar sometime. Huh? You can do that? Of course. All you need to do is switch your familiars around. So select friends and familiars from the main menu. Trust me, it's really easy. Select a familiar and press square and then choose where you want it to go. Do that and we can swap familiars. Gee, that's pretty neat. I had no idea. <laughs> yes, and you can control my dragoon as well if you like, Oliver. In fact, everyone has a type of familiar that they can get on especially well with. Use the type of familiar that's right for you and their performance will be that much better. You can check what type of familiars you get along with well by selecting friends familiars from the main menu. I love chit chatting too. We need to get to that double of Jaws, ain't it? Good. Located in the northeast of the streamlining sands, so just we head there immediately. Alright. Well, first things first, let's check out. Okay, well, no one's a. So. Um. No one was a fan of the spirit. So these two. Well, you know, let's just give her him or that. Anyway, there we are. That works. Okay, there we go. Now, I can end this video, guys. Oh my lord. I, I think I definitely need to, like, level up or something, because I am not, I don't think I'm that good right now. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below if you liked the video, didn't like about the video, let me know. Uh, how would you guys feel about facing that nightmare? Um, and then, of course, learning everything else that we did. I thought it was very good, you know. Actually learning about uh, Myrtle and oh, there's a chest over there. I just realized I'm gonna go open that but Yeah, it's very nice, you know, so yeah, I'm very excited and hopefully I can level up and Do better So yeah, and as always guys hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat and subscribe to my main channel too That's in the description below So let's follow me on Twitter both of my main Twitter the RPG Kingdom Kid Twitter are in there, too 
Uh, screen lock. Ah. Strong cup of coffee. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. And I will see you all. I'm just get out of here. I'll see you all. Next time.